I'm Leia, and I'm about to show you how to create your own expressionistic painting in a Jackson Pollock style. But first, let me tell you a little bit about Jackson Pollock. He was an expressionistic painter from the 1940s and 50s. His style was to get your body involved in the paintings. No thinking, expressionism. To create an abstract expressionistic painting, you'll just need a few things. One is a canvas. I like to use a basic size, which is 16 by 20, but if you want a big painting, you can go all the way up to 30 by 40, 36 by 48. It really depends on the room you have to paint in. You also need to buy a couple of bottles of tempera paint or acrylic. Tempera paint is a little bit more affordable and just pour it into a little squeeze bottle. Also, you can buy it Michaels or Blick. Make sure that the cap is on tightly and shake it really well, and then go for it. And first, you know, you just wanna like get the paint ready and just kind of start dripping. white in there. It creates a little bit of texture. These are great. These are great because you can sort of like kind of do whatever you want and have fun with this. We'll go back and forth. Up and down. Sometimes you create this great design just on your up drop cloth. Or you could just go directly from the jar. And then you can create a little bit of depth. You know, when you add a little more texture and pot, they call it pasta painting, when you layer and, and build on top of paint with gesture. So we're creating a little bit more depth now in our painting, a little more dimension. It's a great exercise to do if you're feeling frustrated. Painting is always a positive thing to have in your life. The whole idea is don't be afraid to get messy. Just let it out. The good thing about white, it adds depth to every painting. So you can add a little bit of white on top of it. It creates a little bit more dimension. And there it is. That's your first introduction to an abstract expressionistic painting. As you can see, you've created your own one-of-a-kind painting, but all around the painting is you got your own little painting going along. So there's something really unique happening here where you've created this great expressionistic painting and then around the painting you've created your own little, little painting. It's like two paintings in one. So it's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll speak more again soon. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this.